So today we're gonna play Ascendant Ranked Arena until we lose a game. And if you didn't know, you can use my deck without owning all of these Illuvials. So I'm gonna share the link to this deck in the chat in the description down below. And it is my belief that if you import this link, this team with this link, there is a bug which lets you play my team even though you don't even own all the Illuvials. So I hope this still works. If it does, help me playing. Uh, this is a really good deck. I think this is definitely the meta deck right now with Dust, Revenant, Enchanter, and then later we can transition into Colossus, Enchanter, Toxic, and so on. So yeah, I hope you can play it, have fun playing it, and we'll see how long we can go with this until we lose our first game. Uh, we're probably gonna sit here for a few months until we lose our first game such a bad joke but <laughs> i just hope we can win the first the first round i don't want to lose the first game that feels so bad usually whenever i did the challenge like two times already i think i lost the first game and had to stop the stream immediately so i hope this doesn't happen and we can have a few games um yeah we'll see how it goes we also see how long the the queue takes right now the ranked leaderboard for the ascendant arena is not updated on the homepage, which is really sad to see and which is the reason I think we don't have a lot of players in here. There's also not so much incentive to play it. There's some airdrop points for winning Ascendant games and playing Ascendant games, but not that much. And I think at least my biggest fear is I don't want to invest too much time climbing the leaderboards. If then once we get the official leaderboards on the homepage reset, also our ranking reset and then was all for nothing, right? Uh, it would have been cool to have a little bit more clarification, a little bit more communication about that. We don't know why the leaderboards are still stuck, because that's probably an easy fix. My guess is they don't want to bring too many players. They wanna don't want to have all the players play Ascendant Arena like we used to do, because th that is not what the team wants us to do right now. They want us to play All World. But since we're one month after the launch, I think it's time to incentivize PvP play and it's time to reset the leaderboards. So I wish there was, there would have been a little bit more communication around that. And at least let us know, hey, you can play the leaderboards. And once we fix the leaderboards on the homepage, you're going to keep your rank. So then people know, okay, I can uh, grind the leaderboard now. And at a later point, we will see it on the public homepage. Um, but yeah, we don't, I think at least we don't know nothing about it. Talking a little bit more about the team, usually we start with three fire rogues with the Chuko, the Tiro plus a ranger weapon. We're gonna see it right here. Then we transition into uh, Dust with Rebo and Chiro on the next round. That is the reason why we don't ascend any units in the first round. Because there's some broken augments, by the way, which is also a problem. We need them fixed. None of those is broken. This is really good for the for the wings. We need some defensive augments for the wings. This is one of the wing conditions, especially early on. And yeah, first round, we're gonna bring the Tiru. We are gonna bring the Chuko plus the 10 cost weapon. We have to save this for the next round to put it on our wing. We also have to save our ascension token for next round to upgrade the wing and the rota into a rebel to have double dust activated so usually our round one is not the best some people i've seen they go for rebel turn one that's also an option you can do i like to have them in one corner but yeah positioning with rogues doesn't matter too much we're playing versus a bronze three this is making me hopeful that we have a chance of winning this he also doesn't have a perfect opener if you do this opener you want to evolve rota into rebel and not uh I was, I was the stage one Tiru into Tiru. <laughs> they have the same freaking name. And yeah, we even beating him, even though we didn't ascend the unit. At least that's what it looks like. He gets one more rollout, gonna kill this guy. Uh, it's gonna be a close one, but I think Chuku wins the one on one. He got a cast line up, boom, one shot. All right, good first round, and the first rounds really matter. You want to make sure you win those first rounds because this can snowball out of hand quite fast. Takedowns heal you and grant attack speed. Pretty good. Four energy reach. I don't like it that much. It sounds better than it is. And then heal and burn. Also not that bad. I think we're going to go with the self heal for now. Bring in the rebel. Bring in the wink. By the way, if you didn't know, if you click this blue bar here, 
you don't have to drag the upgrade on it it just does it automatically and then give our wing the defensive augment which is again one of the wing conditions to have really good defensive augments on our wing give this i think to the rebel maybe wanna wait to give him better augments and put this on one of these guys but they're not really that important so either we put it on the rebel <clears throat> and have the strongest board right now or we put it on those guys playing a little bit for more for the late game but i think we're gonna play around the early game rebel is gonna be more on this side of the board because he jumps here and then he rolls to the first enemy which usually is gonna be around the wink and then uh we're gonna stack blinds here wink is gonna blind rebel rolls in blinds again keeping our wink alive let's see how that goes tirua in french for the pronunciation oh it <laughs> We got a French Illuvial here, the Australian Kangaroo, I didn't know. Uh, Tira. <laughs> what do you mean? I have no idea how to pronounce this in French. Do I pronounce it right? Tiru? And then the next stage would be Tiro. Tiro. Ah, okay. Tiro, Tiro. Tiro. Mange mon gland, Tiro. Oui, oui, c'est bon. <laughs> Sorry, I, I love to talk shit in French. It's my favorite thing to do. Aegis, nah, Empath, nah, Perpetual Entropy, pretty good. This one, not so good. So we go 3 1 on this guys. And see how it goes. I didn't know he was French. Did the French do any colonization in Australia? No, right? It was all the English. Or is there a French word in like the the in the Australian language in the Australian accent? All right, next round. What is it? What are we doing next round? I think we go for Enchanter. Gasta plus Kuka upgrade in, and then we got 40 left for the Vermilia, giving us three empaths. Vermilia also makes us a bit stronger since we upgraded the Gasta. We can reposition it for free. Usually it costs something, you see it right here, costs 6. But if you upgrade a unit, if you send them, you can reposition them, which is really nice. So we're gonna put our gas of death a little bit more in the middle. Next to the Cook and the Vermilia. Ber yeah. And that's kind of it. Range is always also free to be repositioned. And that's kind of it. Love it, I did it good. Perfect. Tiro. Tiro. Is it Tiro? No, it's not Tiro. It's Tiro. All right. See, he did the same thing. Hyper endurance, really good defensive augment on the Quinks. So we have a good mirror match going. They're focusing by Mamilia. She she got a cast out, which is pretty good. Everybody was blinded as well. She stayed alive a little bit longer. He has his Revenants activated, which gives him shields for all the surrounding units if a Revenant unit kills a unit. Which can be really good in the mirror match, and we'll see if it makes all the difference. But I think Enchanter is just better. We can see the damage right here. Our Gazotep still alive, still doing well. Uh, the longer your Gazotep stays alive, the higher your chances of winning are. And I think we got it. We also have a full health Revel right here with the Augment. Beautiful. Round number three in the pocket let's see what we're gonna do with round four usually i like to bring in the revenants now we have energy piercing stacking attack speed don't really need that in here Our enemy team has their healing reduced also not so we're gonna go for energy and physical resistance piercing probably also on our rebel because our gasotep is the top performer but he does all this white bar is true damage True damage means it goes through resistance already. And yeah, the enchanter damage wouldn't get buffed by that and all of that. So it goes on to our Revo. And now we're going to go for the Tiru plus the Verminio giving us Revenant. And then we're going to fill up our board. We have two slots left. So we're going to bring in the Volante giving us five air plus five rogue. So we need one more rogue, which is usually I'm going to pick the Gorilla. And now we have a real problem because usually I want to have a 40 cost armor right here. I don't have that. I need to craft the 40 cost armor. Um, what we can do instead, maybe instead of the gorilla, we can bring in Allura. 
but I like the Gorilla usually a lot. But let's try the Lura, because the Gorilla, when it casts, it leaves behind a Mud Statue. And this Mud Statue taunts all the units around it, and it's basically getting one shot, and then this also gives Revenant a shield. It, it counts as a takedown. So usually, Gorilla kind of plays into the enemy Revenant. But it sounds worse than it is. Usually, you're still doing good. Okay, we're bringing a Mule. Interesting team composition here. Um, maybe he doesn't have all the units. Because I'm very sure that my team is better than that. Enchanted damage coming through on both sides. Doing a lot of damage. Uh, my Gazutep is a little bit in trouble. Is able to blind everybody around him. And that's why Dust is so good at the moment. Because Dust blinds. And blind means... Um, your auto attacks are not hitting, are not landing. Which is really good against this rogue and fighter meta at the moment. Um, okay, he's taking a win. I didn't expect that. I haven't played a Sandin in a while, so maybe there is a new meta. With, I don't know. Is he gonna go for Templar now with the... With the Ray Lu? Plus fighters? Like, is he going more into a gauntlet setup? Where we see often Phosphorus... Uh, Miol or Chokul with a Ray Lu and Templar with a Fur Knight. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Pure attack damage is good. Your new team gain a shield is also really good, especially going against the Revenants. Everything that keeps us alive helps all our units to stay alive. It's gonna help us a lot. And now this is a hard question. Now I never really know what to upgrade. I sometimes do it that way, sometimes another way. But we can either go into Revenants bringing... Uh, into Spore right here with the Vermilia, plus our Ranger going Spore. Also, instead of the Lesser Volante, we could bring in a Ramp Fee, get it to a Ramp Fight, which also would give us Phantom with this blade. We can go for the Classic Boomerang, giving us also Shock if we upgrade the TV Ruku. And then we can also upgrade just our Gyro. That's kind of the classic line, because Gyro is our main damage dealer with all the Augments on him. And then we have the TB Ruko with Shock activated now. And then um, a big, big armor for our Ranger. Put the Ranger a little bit outside on the same side as the Rebel. So the Rebel doesn't roll into the Ranger, hopefully. And yeah, overall we can do a little bit of reposition now with the units that we upgraded. Um, but we should be alright like this. I don't think we need to do much more. It's not totally optimized, right? We have 25 mastery points. So instead of the 60 cost weapon, if we had an 80 cost uh, suit, if we had an 80 cost suit right here, we would go down to five mastery points, which would be better. Easy kill on the mule. We haven't have lost the unit yet. So his revenants haven't uh, stacked up any shields yet. Our Gazotep is in a little bit of trouble. His Gazotep has two augments, so this really puts him at an advantage. But my Ranger is almost hyperactive. He gets taunted into the middle, is now permanently blinded. But he was just about to pop off with a lot of attack speed. Uh, couldn't kill the Gazotep. We're looking overall pretty good though, because my Ranger was able to do a lot of damage. And also my Rebo is kind of balling. And yeah, after the loss on turn 4, we come back with a win for turn 5. Uh, Razel, Razel, I'm not sure how to call it again. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Bon appétit. Fine fromage. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Um, Frost. Nope. Attack steel, energy resistance. Sure. This is probably better. Also, if we can get this on our Ranger later on, they're gonna be huge. So we're gonna go like this. And now, soon is the time. I don't think yet, but next round, we're gonna bring our pay-to-win weapon. We have a tier 5 stage 3 weapon right here. One of the best weapons in the game. Venomous Scepter with also the fitting 100 cost tier 5 stage 3 battle shield for it. Which basically is just one-shots the board. And at which point, we're gonna transition into Karadulox, giving us Toxic. Activating also Colossus with Gnarl plus Titanor. And going away from this uh, Rogues into just a survive. Just keep our Rangers alive and he's gonna one-shot everything. I don't think we have the money for it yet. We're gonna, we're gonna try. Let's see. You need the weapon and the armor to kind of make it work. And it seems like we have enough money. 
So we can even put our ranger here, I think. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, put everybody a little bit more in the corner. Then we also want to sell the Volante, probably get an Adorado in. Which then we can get Spore here on the Adorado, plus Spore on the Vermilia, which is really good. Can reposition the Vermilia a little bit. We want to keep him in the middle though. And that is kind of where I'm at right now. We could sell the Lura to get 5 air. So we could actually have sold the Lura instead of the Volante to keep the 5 air. We still have one Ascension token. So let's upgrade the Kukuruf. Um, Use the Sentinel Resonance on maybe... Well, we should use it on someone that goes over here. Because then hopefully we're going to buff our Ranger, right? That's kind of... It buffs the furthest unit. So that would be kind of the, the plan behind of this. A little bit of a reposition going on here. And then hopefully we should be all right. I'm a little bit scared that my Adorado is going to get one shot, but I hope we split the damage between Adorado and Kukurov, left and right. Um, I also hope our range is going to stay safe. And now look at the damage. Here comes the first cast. And well, let's look at the damage here. Outperforming everybody else. We need one more cast to finish it off. It's going to be a tough one. Here comes the casts. Couldn't kill everything, but we killed a bunch. And I think we made all the difference with our 12 thousand damage ranger absolutely crazy definitely a pay to win weapon it cost me like 250 bucks to make it but hey it has been a lot of fun using it and basically i got screwed over by that weapon and this pushed me to craft it myself and it's just broken and yeah we had a lot more coming out with coloss transitioning into colossus basically just keeping our ranger alive really building the whole team around him we were able to do it this way do it right here and yeah, that was a pretty good game. We're going to keep going. But for the YouTube video, thank you everybody for tuning in. I see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you like the content. And make sure to come on to my daily Illuvium streams if you want to see the content live. Have a good one. Peace out.